Hey, hi, it's Laura Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the bedtime book tag. I was tagged by Alexa at Alexa Reads Books. Go check her channel out. I will link it down below. She's super cute and her cat is really funny. So, let's get started. Oh, disclaimer, I am trying to do everything I can not to use Harry Potter in any of my answers today. Let's just assume that Harry Potter is the answer for all questions because it is the answer to life. One, what book kept you up all night reading besides Harry so I chose a book that I have not heard mentioned on booktube once called Something Missing by Matthew Dix. It is about a guy that goes into people's houses and takes stuff that he does not think that you're going to miss and then uses it to supply his own house. Very interesting concept. So like he'll go into your house and steal two light bulbs and three rolls of toilet paper and like half a bag of carrots because you will not notice that they're missing. Next question. What book made you scared to go to sleep? Oh my gosh. The Magician by Lev Grossman has one of the scariest scenes I've ever read in a book. Just like so simple and yet so terrifying. I literally had to go into my roommate's room and be like, I'm scared to finish reading this book. Number three, what book almost put you to sleep? This book did put me to sleep. It was like reading a history book for school. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. You can go check out my review on it. I have a lot of good reasons for why I did not enjoy it, but it was boring. There I said it. Number four, what book had you tossing and turning in anticipation for its release? I chose Airy from Mercedes Lackey, and that is from the Dragon Jouster series, which if you love dragons, you should fucking read that book because it's so good. I think the first one is called Joust, but I'm not sure. The Dragon Jaw series is so freaking cool. It's about a peasant guy and he lives in a village where they use dragons in their army and they have to train them. Like, it's basically how to train your dragon, but fucking cooler. So you should read it. In fact, like, how to train your dragon totally ripped that off. Number five, what book has your dream boyfriend slash girlfriend? This one I said, Ellen from Mistborn. He is so accepting, he's so loyal, he's so friendly, he's so caring, and even when he has a girlfriend who has a lot of insecurities, he still is always there to support her, which is nice because I do have a boyfriend like that who is very supportive, even when I get a little bit crazy. Number six, what book would be your worst nightmare to live in? Oh my gosh. So there are a lot of books that I would choose for this one. I wanted to say Brave New World originally because obviously that's a terrifying environment, but I also loved that book because it was so creepy and weird. But I'm going to go with The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Now, I know people are obsessed with this book. They're obsessed. I did not read it until I was like 24, and I didn't really have any feelings about it until I went to the book club and discussed it, and then I realized that book is miserable. It's so sad. The themes and the morals and what he is explaining in that book are so fucking depressing. And then everybody loves to do the Great Gatsby parties, which is literally the opposite of the point of the book, which is that these people are just doing these empty parties and having these empty lives and their lives are shitty. And then people are going out and partying like them and you're like, do you not see what you're doing? Parting your life away because they have nothing meaningful to hold on to. So I say, fuck that shit. Lastly, what book cover reminds you of the nighttime? And I chose this one, Owl Moon. It can't get much more nighttime than that. That has the moon on it. Nighttime, bitches. That was the bedtime book tag. I'm going to tag Shannon from Leaning Lights, Kylie from The Bookie Wookie, and Morgan and Sarah from Coffee Chats. Y'all have been tagged. If you want to do this book tag, do it anyway. I'm just too lazy to look up all your names on YouTube and tag you because sometimes you don't say them and it's really hard. Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and also have a glittery motherfucking day.